All right, we are here at the barn. We got Brandon, we got the girls. All right, All right so today's video is going to be trying to fix a few things or work on a few yeah, things. I'm trying my hardest to stay on. A few things that um, she we say that she need to work on, like her sitting trot. Both of my kids do not have really good sitting trots. Isn't that weird? Yeah, because they don't do it because it's hard. Actually, I don't do it either. Good, I'm glad Finn's good. <laughs> so Gabby says sitting Gabby says sitting trot hurts. So that's why she doesn't like to do it. But this is what uh, Brandon got set up. I did notice that Chino's still maintaining the amount of weight that he has right now. So know, he's a little fat. Is he a little bit fatter? Because champs. Like all he did was stand in the stall and eat, which that's what I'd like to do to him for a while. Just let him stand in the stall and eat. I can see why like professional riders do that. Like I know professional riders, not that we would do that, but I know professional riders that like the horses stay in the stall and only have like an hour hand walking and an hour individual turnout each day and they just stand there and eat and Chino Chino could use that but he looks good like he's still maintaining the weight that he was maybe a little tiny bit bigger and like I said we got some stuff to fix that why don't we put money on her head and if she loses it big trouble <laughs> Gabby's all giggling Because Chino's already sweaty and it's not even hung out. Do you ever notice like how sometimes you learn stuff and then time goes on and then you start practicing other stuff and then the stuff that you've already learned sometimes gets weak and I think sometimes that happens too. He's teaching Gabby how to like push him on. Do you know what I mean? Which is where, where she really was lacking. He said that he has the right ability and he has the ability to do this. He says that this is a better canter than she had at the show. Like I don't, I don't know, I don't understand much of it. We've never learned this. This is like a new thing for us. Ride or, dry, or die? There's no point in being in that grip, right? Which, by the time you rode, and about, uh, you guys didn't watch the, the day before. But the day before, when I watched people go in the ring, I was like, oh my god. Gabby's gonna die. Well, because they're like, what are we gonna do? I was like, well, it's a gamble. I'm like, ride and see. Right? So we had one kid who had a horse that turned it back into her event life and just take off. And the other one had a complete meltdown. Like we had both sides of the board. And then I was like, well, this is what we resort to. This is how we're going to play. Your, your ability to take them out, you can school any cross country fence, right? It's, it's a matter of schooling because you can ride differently. But when you take your schooling, when you ride differently and put it into a ring where you have to be completely different from your cross-country bold schooling to your 
I have to sit, look good, be a bold person without mm -hmm. everybody noticing. That's where we have to we have to figure out the key. Yeah, so okay. that makes sense. So like, so if, it's not if we have to find and we have to create something that is not in there when we got to get in there. Okay, four days of showing is exhausting. Yeah, it not was. Not on you, not on me, not on mom. It was. But on him. It was exhausting on all of us, right? Chino. It wasn't just you. I promise you. It was. It, they're very long days. You're exhausted. Like it takes. Forever. And then yeah. your anxiety kicks in, so then you start to forget some things on how to ride. And then trying to recreate your ride when you're like, I don't really remember how to do this, but I've schooled it many of the times, right? Yeah. So now if we can just recreate that ride and ride that ride all the time, then it's so it's gonna be a lot of push to give back. Yeah, what we worked on. So Brennan and Gabby are working on impulsion. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Gabby and Brennan are working on impulsion. Because Chino, Chino's not spooky. He's definitely not spooky, but you know what he does? He is lazy. And if he has an opportunity to not go, then he won't. And, and Gabby tries and he doesn't listen. She needs to learn how to... I didn't say cry. He said try. She tries, but she doesn't know how to push them. Like, she doesn't know how to push a horse that doesn't want to go. Although she had storms, so I don't understand that. Gabby's having, like, so they're having a discussion right now. Like, she's saying, you're going. He's saying, I'm not going. Yeah. So, just find a happy place on the verge of when he wants to start the canter and when he wants to not canter, okay? So, keep pushing him. So, he doesn't understand what she's saying right now because she's trying a different style of riding. She's trying a style where she's like, you're going, and he's like, no, I'm not going. And she's like, yes, you're going. And then he's like, what, you want me to canter? All right, hold the outside, push the outside. But instead, they're learning a forward impulsion. And then close the thighs and sit up tall, and then keep the step, keep the pace. And I don't know if that's all right, you guys. You know me. I don't know anything. I'm just trying to explain what they're doing. The best way I know how. Sit up, and then sit. Flex this and again, keep them pushing forward from the high. That's okay. Eyes up. Good, and then you're gonna hit the pole for this time, okay? So much fun. So much fun, I think that was sarcasm. Outside, outside. trying to learn this you guys this is like not going to be pretty it's going to look ugly for a, a few times until she figures out how to get more horse under her and chino has that in him he's just taught her i don't really want to do that so don't make me and she said okay brandon said we have to find move on so we need to find chino's happy medium where he doesn't want to do something and then where he does want to do something because he really doesn't want to do too much. <laughs> but lazy hunter horses are good as long as you can like find the right button. But that was okay. I'll accept it. We have a person that's riding with a little bit of a leg. There we go. Yeah. So if we put it up to like four feet, you should still be able to jump. He does notice different things. Good. There we go.
Got my pocket full of sand, sand, sand. I don't really give a damn, damn, damn. You can read it in my hand. I don't really give a damn. Nailed it. Forehand again. And then a line to just kind of stumble, right? There we go. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 